day in the life of a production pastor can kind of look like a, a lot. Uh, some days I'm here starting my day out in my home studio doing some recording of you know background music for videos or doing some editing of videos. Uh, sometimes I'm uh, you know also starting here in the process of creating um, you know whatever is needed for the, the upcoming Sunday. Uh, but for the most part, um, my main duties kind of fall on certain days. So my week is typically kind of cyclical. I'll start on a Monday and kind of work toward a Sunday. And um, so what that looks like is Monday mornings, uh, I start here at home uh, before going into the office, and I will edit uh, the sermon that was preached on Sunday. We'll basically pick one of the two services, um, whichever one I kind of think came out the best. And then I will take that and I will edit it and turn it into a podcast that we publish weekly. So that's kind of what my Monday mornings look like. And then I'll go into the office um, kind of around 1030 typically on Mondays after that. And I will um, then start the process of if I need to do any scheduling or anything like that, I'll kind of start, start that for my volunteers. Um, and then Monday afternoon is when we have our service planning meeting. So we will talk through the last uh, Sunday services and, and figure out if there's anything that we want to do differently or anything that we really liked that wound up happening kind of spontaneously. Uh, and then talk about the upcoming service and then if we've got big events like night of worship or anything else like that, we also talk about that in that planning meeting. So that um, that is a lot of what Monday looks like and then we finish every Monday out with a staff meeting. So all of the staff gets together, and again, it's kind of a planning meeting, but it's also kind of a um, kind of a spiritual check-in meeting as well. And then um, Tuesdays are kind of a continuation of that. So anything that I didn't finish off as far as uh, things that I needed to do schedule-wise, so creating a schedule of volunteers to be, you know, camera operators or mixing engineers or whatever on a Sunday. I do that a month in advance, so I'll just kind of try to fill those gaps in because sometimes people have to call out at the last minute. Um, so Tuesdays are scheduling days, essentially. Tuesdays are also uh, programming days, really, where I am, uh, because currently we're in a remote situation, I am from the office programming things like our visual elements, uh, our lighting elements, some of our uh, audio mixing elements, so that when we get into the actual space, I can basically plug something in load up a show file and go on a Sunday morning without having to think about building or programming. Um, so that's Tuesdays uh, for the most part. Wednesdays are going to be days where, again, a continuation of Tuesday, whatever I didn't wind up finishing off, I'll kind of carry that over into the next day. Um, but Wednesdays also, for me, kind of start moving into, I've, I've gotten enough of the creative elements from the senior pastor as far as their sermon goes, um, our creative director. Um, for graphic design and things like that. I've gotten enough of those elements to where I can actually start building out some of the visual side of things. So programming is a little bit different than that. Programming is really more building these show files for these uh, pieces of gear, so like our mixing console or our broadcast template or whatever. Uh, and then um, Wednesdays are really more build days than they are programming days. Um, so again, that typically will take most of a Wednesday. And then pick up Thursday. Thursday is kind of a finalization day. So anything that I haven't gotten done or that it's kind of been on the back burner, it's not an immediate thing that needs to get addressed that week, that will happen on a Thursday. And the very last thing that I do on Thursday before I head out, because my weekend is like a Friday, Saturday, since I work all day Sunday, is I will go through every single show file and every single um, visual element and I will basically hit play from start to finish. Make sure everything, all the macros kind of follow, uh, make sure that all of the, the visual elements display correctly and all that kind of thing. So that, when we get to Sunday morning, I just have to plug it in, put a volunteer in front of it, tell them, all right, push play, and then we'll go through what this looks like. So that's kind of a typical week for me.